Military. It's Thursday, February 22nd. I'm Kiana. And I'm Jalen. And, and you're, you're watching, watching THS, THS TV. TV. Congratulations to our fabulous principal, Dr. Osagi. He was named the Secondary Principal of the Year for the district. We know the wonderful things that Dr. O has done here on our campus, from teaching us African words to pushing us academically so our scores have risen in the double digits. We have study times, the Summer School Now program, Ranger Success, tutorials, and he cleaned up our campus. He's always smiling, always at events, and believes in all of us. Congratulations, Dr. O. Congratulations also goes out to the boys' varsity basketball team. They delivered their first playoff win since the state championships in 2013. They had a huge victory Tuesday night over the San Antonio Kennedy Rockets. The final score was 70-56. to The varsity squad will be face-stripping springs in the area round of the playoffs on Friday. Stay tuned for Dr. O's announcements and the TVs for the time and place in the sign-up for the fan bus. Congratulations, Coach Jackson and the team. We also want to graduate some of our art students, in particular Roman or Aurelano. He earned best in class in fourth place for the entire Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo Art Show. He also earned a trophy, a gold medal, a blue ribbon. His picture, T-Bone, is number four out of 72 pieces going to auction on March 11th. In all, we submitted 37 pieces of art to the district for judging. We received one gold medal, seven blue ribbons, 25 red ribbons, and four white ribbons. Please see the screen for the list of rodeo art winners and those whose work were selected. We visited the exhibit on Saturday at Fulcher High School, and it was a prideful moment seeing all the Terry High School artworks hanging. Congratulations to Ms. Batts and Ms. Watson for guiding these students. Here's what the public saw. Congratulations also goes out to our Ranger Reds. They're in the midst of a contest season and they once again racked up awards. The contest was the Morton Ranch Houston Coastal Contest. See the screen for all their awards. Most notable was that they were the first place academic champion in medium teams, the highest team GPA out of 32 teams. They also earned the Sweepstakes and Gissy Nail Award, best overall presentation in Officer Sweepstakes. Way to go, Miss Wilson and Miss Strum and the Reds. You make us proud. Get ready for the first international festival here at Terry High School entitled Passports to Success. The festival is March 1st. Different curriculums have chosen a continent, and there will be food, music, and lots of information about college and the different classes you can take. Please invite your parents to come and see the great things happening here at T High. You'll go from station to station getting your passport stamps. Stamp passports will be eligible for some cool door prizes. Everything starts in the auditorium at 6.30 on March 1st. March the 7th is a campus-wide testing day. Make sure you get some sleep and eat a good breakfast that day. Just a few days later, it's spring break. In sports, the varsity baseball team celebrated their opening day. They played a tough opponent from 6A to Stratford and lost 0-6. to six. Coach Arthur Burns said he was very proud of the way the guys played the game. In fact, they didn't commit a single error in, on the field. The girls' varsity golf team played Columbia. Kyra Anthony scored a 62 and Nadia Vela scored a 66 in a nine-hole tournament. Coach Howard said they are improving every week. 
In boys varsity soccer, they took the win over Forsha High 5-2. They also beat Victoria East 3-2. The boys' JV Red soccer team took a huge win over Fulcher 9-0. They also took the win over Victoria East High School 5-2. The girls' varsity soccer team lost to Fulcher 0-7. They also took a tough loss to Victoria East 0-5. The girls' JV soccer team lost to Fulcher 0-1. They tied their game against Victoria East 0-0. In campus news, if you need a verification of enrollment, you need to submit them to Ms. Vargas between 7.45 and 1.30 in order for them to be signed that day. If you turn in the form after 1.30, they'll be ready the next day. Make sure you use a pen to fill out the form. That they will not be signed while you wait. If you're interested in trying out for the cheer team, you have to all the forms and physicals turned in by Friday at 4. Information packets are available from Ms. Alanis in the front office. The cheer clinic, mock trials, and trial dates are March 2nd through the 9th. See Coach Carter with any, any questions. We have one more fun event to celebrate, Black History Month. What is it? It's a lip sync battle during all lunches next Monday and Tuesday. Make sure you've got your best American Idol performance ready. We had a blast with Family Feud. Our staffers were down there and catered some of the fun. Are we ready? First question. High School this summer, see Ms. Decker in room 102. This is a free session in the summer with paintballing, kayaking, visiting museums and churches, and getting volunteer hours. Seniors, if you want to go on the class trip, there's a meeting on Wednesday after school in the LGI room. This is your chance to voice where you want to go. What about Six Flags? Forget it. We have to go someplace and be back the same day, but come and talk about it with Ms. Cornell after school. If you want to help plan events, text the number on the screen so you're on the Remind 101 list to get updates about events for the senior class. Seniors, you have until Friday, March 16th to have your senior portrait taken with prestige. This is a picture that will show on the Jumbo China at graduation. The cost is $25. Call 281-277-3900 to set up your appointment. Students, the cost of the yearbook goes up to $80 after spring break. 
all the cost to print the book went up, so this yearbook staff had to raise the price. This is the first time in over 10 years they've had to do that. But you can still get your book for $75. Just come by room 119 before spring break and put down just $5. That will hold a book for you at the price of $75. Remember, the price goes up after spring break. Make sure you get that discount. Order online at www.belfort.com or come to room 119. So what's happening this weekend? The Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo is starting. We have a list of performers on the TVs around the school, but Garth Brooks opens and closes the show with concerts on Tuesday and March 18th. Individual tickets are on sale at axe.com and, and ranges from $18 to $350. Visit rodeohouston.com for more information. At the movies, Every Day Opens is based on a best-selling novel about a 16-year-old girl who falls in love with a mysterious soul named A that inhabits a different body every day. Sounds interesting. You can go see Black Panther in its opening weekend. It made over $404 million worldwide. It's a monster hit. It had the biggest February opening weekend in history, earning 52% more than Deadpool. Another movie I really loved was the Harry Potter movies. Those were pretty good, and the books were great. Luis Molina has a video about Hogwarts for us. Those movies were good, but I cannot wait to see Black Panther. You know what I can't wait for? What? Getting out early tomorrow. No, the joke. Oh, you can wait on that one. They're never funny. Well, this could be your lucky day. Let me hear what you got. Why didn't the banana snore? I don't know. Why didn't the banana snore? It didn't want to wake up the rest of the bunch. That was nice. Yeah, but I saw you smile. Don't deny. <laughs> I'll tell you what's <laughs> worth smiling about. And that's free money and going to college. I agree. Here's Ms. Parker with some upcoming deadlines. Hi students, don't forget to come by the college room if you need any help planning for college or scholarships. Um, seniors, we have a lot of big dates coming up. If you signed up for the ASVAB test on Friday, um, please be in the LGI room for the start of school. April 14th is the next ACT, so juniors or even seniors still come by if you need a fee waiver. The deadline to sign up for that is March 9th. Um, we also have TSI signups going on. So we have several dates coming up, um, Saturday, March 24th, and then April 20th are our next test days. So please, please, please sign up for your TSI test. Um, other than that, stop by if you need any help, send your transcripts, get those applications in, and get your FAFSA in. Priority deadlines are gonna be March 1st or March 15th, so don't miss that, just think March 1st. If you need any help, stop by and see us, thanks. Thanks, Manuel. Something else that makes me smile is looking back. We're not that old, but having flashbacks to our childhood brings back all kinds of good memories. Here's a video from Dylan about the year 2000. If you were in the early 2000s right now, who would your crush be? It would be Zach Efron. I'm not gonna stop, not gonna stop till I get my shot. If it was the early 2000s, what would you be wearing? Boot cuts, sketchers, and oversized tees. What would you be watching in the early 2000s? Uh, I would probably be Wizards of Waverly Place or Ed and Nettie. <laughs> in the early 2000s, who was your crush? The Jonas Brothers. Nick Jonas, to be exact. Honestly. If you were in the early 2000s right now, what would you be doing? Um, I'd probably be sitting in class with my um, flip phone and watching Spongebob. The good Spongebob. If you were in the early 2000s right now, what would you be doing? Investing in YouTube. And last but not least, here's the download with Dr. O. Good morning, Terry Rangers. How are you today? Um, today, I want to take a minute to talk to you about um, just some unfortunate situation that has recently happened um, in Florida. It is uh, a very sad event, and uh, I hope and pray that this is not the state of our schools, um, that this um, 
was just uh, an incident. It's an unfortunate incident. But I also want to take that opportunity to talk to you about um, just some of the precautions and some of the safety measures that we have in place here at Terry High School. I want to start by saying to you that safety and security of our students and our staff members is truly our number one priority here at Terry High School. Yes, you're here to learn algebra, you're here to learn biology, English, and all of the other coursework that you take. But our number one priority continues to be the safety and the security of students and staff members that come to school and work here every day. With that said, um, we have some safety and security measures that we do have in place. Um, one is um, the drills that we do, and very soon you will see us conduct um, one of the lockdown drills. It's going to happen, and as part of a security measure, I cannot disclose to you when it is going to happen, but it is just one of the many safety precautions that we put in place. There are also other safety precautions that we put in place. Um, of course, just as for security measures, I cannot discuss most of them with you. But the one that I really do want to emphasize to you today is the one that you could really help us with and that is by making sure that you spend time talking to an adult when you see something or you hear something suspicious if you see or you hear something suspicious you need to say something so my little acronym is always when you see or you hear then you need to say. So hear something suspicious, see something suspicious, then you need to say something. Um, we are all here together and we are all responsible for our safety as a Ranger family. So please, if you see something on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or what have you, or a stu student says something, um, you're not snitching, It's not. that's not what it is. It is just you are really trying to help that person out and helping the rest of us out by trying to be proactive in making sure that we don't compromise our safety and our security here on campus or even out of campus uh, out of school also please know that the doors to the building are always closed all of the doors are closed around the building and the main entrance to this building is in the front of the school so as you are working around the building if somebody asks you to prop the door open and they're coming from this one of the side doors please do not let anyone in ask them to go through the main entrance which is in the front of the school and that is the only way that they could go through the proper identification process and we could grant them access to the school if they meet the identification uh, um, requirements that we have in place so thank you and we will continue to emphasize the issue of safety and security because it is our number one priority thank you rangers and let's continue to make this a good day and a great week And with that, we're out of here. Remember, we're leading the revolution with Ranger Pride every, every day, day, every, every week. week.